Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking on this video. Gosh, when was the last time I did a life update? I can't even remember and I, my intention was to do it halfway through the year and now it's August. So I'm a little bit late, but never mind. I'm excited to have a chat with you all and just give you an update into what is going on in my life. I've got a big smile on my face because it has been an amazing summer so far and I have so many amazing memories that I have collected and I'm just feeling so happy at the moment. The purpose of this video is to just give you a bit of an update into what's going on in my life in terms of work and travel and just everything that is going on this summer. It has been a hell of a summer so far. I'm currently three months down, one month to go of my big Europe trip. And you've probably been seeing my content on Instagram and on TikTok and everything like that. I feel like I've been everywhere and anywhere this summer. I'm kind of exhausted, but more on that later. Um, I am having the best time and I just wanted to touch base with you all and just have a chat. So let's start with the number one question that I get asked, which is when are you going back to Dubai? Because I know everybody's missing the Dubai content. I'm going back to Dubai on the second week of September. So the countdown is on, literally four weeks to go. And I'm not gonna lie, I am excited. I have been a little bit homesick. And homesickness really kicked in about week six of the travels. And I think now I'm on week 13. So yeah, it's been a long old summer. I actually was meant to be going back on the 1st of October, but I moved my flight a bit earlier because I just, you know, as much as I love doing the kind of hot girl summer, as much as I love doing the traveling thing, living out of a suitcase and not having a routine can be really challenging. And I'm so grateful that I've been able to do what I have done this summer and it's been, it's been amazing. Wouldn't change a thing. But at the same time, I am tired. I am ready to go back to Dubai. I am excited. It's also this thing of like anyone else that lives in Dubai, maybe you'll know what I mean. But like sometimes you kind of need time away from Dubai to then really appreciate what you have. I find that when I'm in my routine in Dubai and and I love it so much there, don't get me wrong, I do. But it do, I find myself just getting bored and I find myself just wanting to go and do stuff. And maybe it's like that everywhere. I don't know, maybe it is. But for me, I feel like I really needed a big trip and that's why I've planned so much into this summer and I've made all these plans and I said yes to everything. I was like, yes, I'll be there. Yes, of course I'll do that. Yeah, I'll go on another holiday, why not? And I planned everything this summer. And then uh, when I got to about week six, that was when I was really like, I'm tired. I'm really tired and I just want my own bed and I want my own space and I want to just feel like at home and grounded. And I'm really looking forward to having that feeling of being like, I'm home but that's coming in September. Got a little while to go yet. I've got a trip to Spain to do, a trip to Ibiza and Mallorca coming up. And where, are, where have I been already? Well, if you've not been following, let me fill you in on the summer so far. Started the summer in England, had an amazing day with my sister where, with my two sisters, where we went to see Olivia Rodrigo in London, which was so much fun and such a kind of core memory. I feel like I've had a lot of core memories being formed this summer. That was definitely one of them. Then went to Spain and went to a music festival on my own to Barcelona. And like, that was so, I was so proud of myself for going and booking festival tickets on my own because I've not actually done loads of solo traveling. I have now after this summer, but that was like start. And I remember feeling quite nervous quite I didn't know what to expect I was hoping I'd make a lot of friends which I did and I just shot another video actually that's going to be up in a few days about making friends while traveling and it was great it was amazing because I got to see Lana Del Rey and SZA and Charlie XCX and Peggy Yu and loads of artists that I just love I love Barcelona as a city I've been before and I loved it even more this time and it was just such a good positive way to kick off a big journey of solo travel and it was yeah loved it honestly I absolutely loved it then I briefly came back to London saw my family for a little bit which was also nice it's been nice having family time and then packed up the old suitcase for a big long chunk of travel which started with three weeks in Turkey and I'd never been to Turkey before so the trip started with meeting my two friends from Dubai that flew over to meet me in Turkey so Jen and Mia flew from Dubai I flew from London and we met in Bodrum Bodrum is apparently the Mykonos of Turkey, which I would agree with. I agree with that statement. I actually did a video on that, so go and watch that one as well. But um, I love Bodrum so much. I feel like I would go every year. Like, I actually loved it. 
it had such a good energy to it and I feel like it doesn't have any of the snootiness that Mykonos has and it's so beautiful and the weather was perfect and I had my friends there and oh I just love it. It was after that week with my two girls in Bodrum when that week ended that's when I was like wait I feel sad, I feel lonely, why am I doing this? And, and honestly I was having all this fun but at the same time these kind of thoughts have kind of come and go you know it's highs and lows when you're traveling for 13 weeks at a time it's highs and lows okay guys and turkey was really yeah like me and the girls just had the best time there's nothing like a girl's trip much i've loved all the rest of it but making memories with like your best friends is just so much fun the best time um and i've done a couple of videos about turkey then i went on go sail turkey which is a sail week okay guys i'm calling this summer hot yacht shop girl summer because I spent so much of it partying on boats um how has it ended up to be hot yacht shop girl summer i'll tell you how so basically as you know i've got a growing platform here on youtube and on tiktok and on instagram rewind a couple of months when was it it must have been like it must have been like December. I want to say December, which is crazy because that feels like a different lifetime now. Um, I was planning my big Europe trip and I was scrolling on TikTok and I thought to myself, okay, well, I'm in Bodrum with the girls. That's locked in. That's booked. We're, we're there. Maybe I'll do some solo traveling. Before I was successful or anything, I was like, maybe I'll do some solo traveling. I was scrolling on TikTok and I came across this girl who had done a vlog about Go Sail Turkey and i was i was looking at her profile and i was like hmm she has twenty thousand followers i have twenty thousand followers um so i just got in touch with go sail turkey and i said to them do you want me to kind of review your sale week for my tiktok page and give you some content and they were like yeah sure come on the sale week and that was when i was like whoa this is amazing this is the first time i've been able to go on a trip kind of for my youtube channel and for my content so that was really cool. I was very, very excited to be there and they loved the content that I did and I loved being there doing content. So it was just like a win-win all round, had the best time, met amazing people, um, saw amazing things, saw turtles, did mud baths, went on these really fun nights out. Honestly, it was all just a blast. And it was such a great way to see Turkey as well. I've done I've done more content about that, so I don't wanna talk too much about the go sale weeks because I've done so much content about it already. But this is like the behind the scenes, right? So I can be real with you guys. I was talking to their marketing team and they said they loved the content that I did and I was like thank you so much and then I said to them I'm going to Croatia next month and I do the Croatia week as well and honestly guys if you don't ask you don't get so this is your sign to just go out there and ask for what you want because it pays off and they said yes so then I ended up doing the Croatia sale week so I left Bodrum I did I've done three weeks in Bodrum flew to flew to Dubrovnik in Croatia via Istanbul Hang on, I've got a story to tell you about Istanbul Airport. So there wasn't a direct flight, right, from Bodrum to Dubrovnik. So I had to go via Istanbul, which is the capital. So my connecting, my way over, it's like about two hours I had to wait in Istanbul Airport. And it's, uh, I think it was like 3, 3.30am until 5.30am, something like that. And I was tired. I'd had no sleep. I was hungry. And people had warned me, don't buy anything in Istanbul Airport because it's an absolute rip-off it's so expensive and I got there and I realized everyone was correct or everything was very expensive but I was starving and I thought you know what I always say it you can't put a price on convenience so I went to the food court went to Burger King and I got myself a vegan Whopper burger and the price of this burger was literally listed on the menu something like 25 euros which already is a bit staggering for for, for one burger but I was hungry so I went for it one vegan burger, one side of onion rings, and one Diet Coke. Got my order, the price flashed up on the card machine in Turkish Lira. And me being sleep deprived and not even paying attention and just hungry, I just tapped my Apple Pay. I didn't even look, honestly, I didn't even look. I just tapped it because I'd seen on the menu how much it said. And I, had, I ate my burger, whatever, got on my next flight, landed in Dubrovnik, was at the hotel in Dubrovnik. And then I was looking at my bank statement. My messages came through of my Dubai bank updates of what I'd spent and it said at 4 30 a.m I spent 217 dollars US dollars at Burger King and that's when I was like hang on that burger did not cost me 25 euros 
it cost me $217. I don't know what happened, I don't know why it happened, I don't know if they tried to scam me or what. I immediately called my bank, they were like, there's nothing we can do, that, that was what was charged, you need to contact Burger King, Istanbul Airport, and I thought, brilliant. So I tried to call Istanbul Airport, they weren't very helpful, they just created a customer support ticket for me. The plot thickens, because the day after, this is such a tangent by the way, this is a story time, but I just wanted to tell you guys, be careful if you're passing through Istanbul Airport. So then, the day after, a massive charge for about £3,000 was made on that same card on a luxury shopping website. It was refunded immediately and then my card was blocked for security reasons by my bank. But I have a suspicion that something in Istanbul airport was dodgy and it passed my card details on to something dodgy. I don't know. Anyway, so long story short, <laughs> in fact, that was just the long story. My card got blocked and it was just really inconvenient and annoying. And I've been telling everybody, be careful if you're going through Istanbul Airport. Anyway, I arrive in Dubrovnik and I meet my friend Meg. And it's been so nice this summer because I've had parts where I'm solo traveling, parts where I've got my nearest and dearest friends with me. And it's kind of been like, it's been like these different eras of the, of the trip. So my first experience of Croatia was with my friend Meg, who I've known for years, and it was just so fun. It was her birthday. Despite us both having this really awful stomach flu and us being in bed for days, and not only that, we took it in turns. So she was ill and then I was ill. Apart from that, we had the most amazing time. Love Dubrovnik so much. Love Dubrovnik so much. And we, yeah, we both just loved Havar as well. In fact, we love all of it. We even loved Split, which is a little bit, it's, it can be a bit much. And we preferred Dubrovnik and Havar, but we loved all of it. And honestly, what could be better than being on holiday with your bestie? Nothing. So then I had, so then it was time for my Go Croatia sale. So I did that. That was amazing as well. And the two are very different. That one was definitely more of a party boat. And it was seven nights. So safe to say I was exhausted by the end of it, but I had to recover quickly and I did my best to recover staying in a hostel in Split and I was so antisocial and I didn't speak to anyone for three days because I was just so exhausted but I had to save my energy because I had booked the yacht week and when I paid for the yacht week back whenever it was I didn't realize that I'd actually end up doing three different sale weeks this year but I'm not mad about it honestly because it's been so much fun I had done the Yacht Week two years ago in Greece and had the best time and I wanted to do it again for the longest time ever and I was begging my friends, come and do it with me, but they didn't. So I decided to do it on my own and so glad I did because honestly it was the best week ever. After the Yacht Week, me and the, some of the crew, the Yacht Week crew, went to Malta and we even got matching tattoos. So I've got a new tattoo. It's right here. I'll put a better photo. I'll put a better photo in so that you can see it properly. We got Carpe Diem which is a Latin phrase that means seize the day. And it's also the name of the nightclub in Havar, where lots of memories were made this summer. So it just felt like the perfect tattoo. And it's actually in the same font as my live with intention tattoo that I got in Sri Lanka earlier this year. Um, yeah, to Malta, I arrived back in London and honestly, I slept for like days straight. I was, my family were looking after me, bless them. Had my, I had Edie, my younger sister, making me hot chocolates. We were watching, um watching musical after musical on the tv and i've just been relaxing because it has been a full-on summer and i do think i'm kind of at that point where i'm ready to go home but i have more travel fun coming up so i'm not complaining this is not me complaining i'm blessed i'm so blessed but i'm just keeping it real i am ready to go home let me tell you there is nothing like traveling there's nothing like seeing new places and meeting new people to help you really feel like you're growing as a person and I, this is now the part of the video where I'm going to get a bit cheesy but I'm just so proud of myself for all the changes that I've made in my life this past year and there's been a lot like when I think about my life this time last year it's crazy it's actually my therapist that said to me and I love it when like this is amazing because she remembers more about my life than I do I swear and she said to me um she was remembering this time last year when I was on holiday in the south of France I was telling her about how I felt really jealous of people that could travel and really enjoy it and feel present and not have all these responsibilities weighing them down and then she said she reminded me of that and I kind of thought wow that's actually where I am now and all the changes that I've made in my business I no longer have my team I no longer have the marketing agency I'm just doing kind of work one-on-one -on -one, just consulting 
and I'm also living my dream of being a YouTuber and this is now a thing. So yeah, just being able to do that and being able to have the freedom that I do and just feeling so happy and grateful to my past self for all the changes that I've made to my life and yeah feel like I'm on the right path. I know that's so deep, but it, it is what it is. Um, and next update I have for you is that at the end of last summer, I don't, is this an update? I don't know. I think some of you know this already, but the end of last summer's big old Europe trip that was, looks like a baby trip compared to this trip. But anyway, I was also feeling very inspired and I started learning Italian in September last year, doing weekly online tutoring lessons. Sto imparando l'italiano perché mia nonna viene da Torino in Italia and I've always wanted to learn and I'm just feeling so like sad to look back on me starting this time last year and just keeping it up and I've decided that I'm gonna learn I'm gonna do something else and I'm telling you guys about it to hold myself accountable. So I've decided that when I get back to Dubai I'm gonna start doing drum roll please piano lessons. It's always been a dream of mine to be able to sing and play piano at the same time. And in the spirit of carpe diem, in the spirit of seizing the day, I've decided that I just want to start. I just want to get some lessons behind me and seeing what happens. Cause that's what I did with Italian. And now I feel so proud of myself for making all this progress. I don't know. <laughs> you guys can hold me accountable. Um, feeling really good about going back to Dubai. I'm feeling good about getting into a good routine. I'm going to be living with my best friend as well. So I just feel like I'm feeling really positive about the end of the year. Me and my friends have already been booking tickets for things, things happening in Dubai and it's going to be good. I'm feeling really positive. Um, I think that's all the updates I have for you. Yeah, I think, I think that's everything. We've, we've covered everything. I'm like looking at my laptop because I was making notes. Um, for you. I'll stop yapping um, for watching this video. Make sure you've subscribed if you haven't already and let me know in the comments what you want to see. I'm actually relaunching my TikTok because my current TikTok is just so dead and it's full of loads of like accounts that never interact. I don't know. I just want to relaunch it anyway. So I'm relaunching it and um, the link's in the description so you can go and comment there what you want to see. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.